The Grinch who stole your luggage? More baggage handlers swiping suitcases this holiday season. They're reportedly rifling through your stuff for things like iPods, laptops, jewelry, and other cool Christmas gifts. Kate Hanai with uh, FlyersRights.org says this is a bigger problem than you think. Kate, what do you do then? What do you do? Well, it, what I'm doing, I've actually set up my own little sting operation. I'm videotaping my bags and everything I put in my bags, and then I'm videotaping the, taping them as soon as I get out of the baggage claim to see what's there and what's not. I've decided that I repackage all of my face creams, anything that's liquid that I must check that has value, I'm repackaging it so that no one knows what it is. Because I've actually had, out of my last eight flights, every expensive item taken out of my bags. Really? Stolen. Now, so, so these weren't yes. obviously carry-on bags. You went through baggage claim. They took the baggage. When you got out, all stuff was missing. Like what? That, that's correct. And, and what we're aware of, we've been studying this for a couple of years, is that the TSA is responsible for about 17% of all theft in bags, and baggage handlers are responsible for about the other 83%. And the airlines will only claim, uh, pay about 6% of all claims. So if you don't have a receipt for the items in your bag or if they're older than a couple of months, they're going to depreciate it, you're very unlikely to get anything back. So put it all in your carry-on bags or your purse. I prefer to put things in my purse because I've actually had many of our members have lost their carry-on bags uh, from having them checked and then having them get lost in the shuffle and, and not make it to their destination. Well, what if, so you, lock, what if you lock your suitcase? I mean, they could just crack it open, right? There are videotapes on YouTube uh, that you can find where they actually show examples of how to break into a bag with the zipper locked by taking a quarter and sliding it in the zipper. So it's well known out there. There are very, very simple ways for bad baggage handlers and bad TSA agents of getting into your bag without even um, unlocking the lock or breaking the lock. And you would never know it. But there so must be it, some accountability. Really there, there's got to be yourself. some accountability. This. I'm, and I'm sure this isn't... Uh, all of these guys doing it. A majority of these guys are even close, I hope. Um, so so w is there a way to check them at their work site uh, when they're taking these? Are there cameras on them? Well, some of the airlines have done major sting operations when they start getting a lot of complaints and perhaps people are turning them in a little bit. So they're starting to actually set up stings where they're videotaping Man. these baggage handlers. And that's when you hear on the news 100 baggage handlers fired. Well, what, if you put a baggage handlers what if you put a mousetrap? What if you put a mousetrap in your bag? Or, you know, <laughs> I, would like to, I would like to be the one that catches them because I'm so angry at having to replace my products, and I know many, 40% of all of our complaints on our hotline at Flyers Rights are due to baggage and theft in bags. So it's a huge issue. It's getting larger. It's something wow. we deal with every day. And we help people try to get their money back for free. So they can go to our website, flyersrights.org, and call right. our hotline, 1-877-359-3776. We're free. Okay. We're here to help people. And we'd like to stop this from happening. All right. Well, you know, people can always just carry, carry on or go come Commando. That's another option. You know. uh, we call it carry on or lost. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. the way uh, to look at Kate, it. Thank you. Neil, thank you. It's good to see you again. Same here. All right, skip the comments.